She takes a deep breath. Okay, uh, some concentration there. I've been struggling with depression for years. Oh, yep, those faces says it all. <laughs> Oh, 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 I'm sorry, that it's actually December. Well, anywho, welcome back to Doki Doki Blue Skies, and last time, it's uh, Valentine's, and uh, for some reason, Sayori doesn't want to hang out with me, and uh, she has something to do on her, on her own, and, well, we just spend the day without Sayori. But there's nothing to worry about because we had the day with mom talking about things and stuff going on with the previous events and all, and then we r had a run-in with Yuri for a bit. And Sayori came back after her therapy session, and I know you guys have been waiting for this one because... Oh, of course, all of us are going to be interested in what's going to be happening next. So you guys know the drill. And what time is it? It's Doki Doki time. It's been so long. I know we spoke on the phone, but actually seeing you in person is a whole other story. It's really nice to see you too. Ah, uh, with mom home and seeing the childhood friend, it's always good to see the three together at least. They share a hug. Some people might find that weird, but to me it's perfectly normal. Mom always loved having Sayori over when we were kids. She was almost like a daughter to her. Finn told me about the club you invited you invited him to. He says your poems are amazing, so you'll have to show me sometime. <laughs> well, they're not that good. Well, they're great poems, Sayori, and I never and I'll never deny that. Ever. I bet they're wonderful, Sayori. Anyway, I'll be fixing lunch for us, so please give me a shout if you need anything. Oh, it's okay. You don't need to make me food. Don't be silly, dear. It's my treat. Don't you worry. You? Objecting to free food? What have you done to the Sayori I know? Sayori opens her mouth to protest, but upon realizing that she can't win this war on two fronts, she closes it out. Very funny. <laughs> I mean, of course, she's the uh, hungry chowder, so, uh, well, can't blame having free food, so can resist, because food is good. It's always good. <laughs> oh, Sayori, you kidder. After completing my morning routine, I find myself waiting by Sayori's house. As much as I enjoy having mom back, the only downside of having her around is that Sayori and I weren't able to spend the night together. Oh yeah, since, uh, there's, since um, there's a parent in your house and you won't be able to sleep with your girl. Well, I, I guess it's understandable, but uh, this soon we'll definitely spend the night together when she's not around or any parent in particular because yeah, you know how that feels and how it is right on the flip side mom made me some yummy food to eat so at least I got something to look forward at lunchtime Sayori closes her front door and walks up to me with a smile on her face morning Sayori good morning she gives me a quick peck on the lips I've been thinking about everything we talked about last night. And? She faces me with a determined resolution on her face. I'm going to let the others know. Yeah? Mm-hmm. They're my friends, just like you are, right? I was thinking about all of the happy times we shared as a club, both before and after you joined. The club has always been a place where I felt safe. Hanging out during Halloween, having loads of fun, sharing gift gifts at Christmas, seeing how thoughtful everyone was. It really hit me when I was thinking last night. So yeah, I'm ready. Oh! Gathered up the courage to tell them your, uh, your depression, Sayori? Well, then if you do, I'm proud of you. I'm with you all the way, Sayori. Let's do it. Oh yeah! 
Lunch couldn't come by any slower. I'm idly staring at the clock, marveling at how slowly the hands are moving. Although I can't help but be a little nervous, the situation between Yuri and I remains awkward and I haven't told Sayori about what happened before she texted me. I just hope Yuri will understand when Sayori tells her what's going on. She has always struck me as the understanding type, so I just hope she won't hold anything against me. Uh. Finally, the bell rings. I'm the first one in the club, not surprising given Sakurai let us out a little bit early. As I pull out my containers of food from my bag and settle down, Sayori and Natsuki walk in, chatting amongst themselves. Oh, hey Sayori, I forgot to tell you, mom made you some food too. Here. I push a container of pre-made food toward her, causing her eyes to widen. Aww, she didn't have to. You know what my mom is like. <laughs> well, of course. Mothers knows best. Well, to, from mom C, that is. So, <laughs> you, you, you know what I mean. Any for me? The sarcasm in Natsuki's voice makes us laugh. <laughs> You're the chef, Natsuki. Do you really need it? She rolls her eyes and mutters something under her breath at my little quip. Meanwhile, Sayori wastes no time digging into the food. Within seconds, almost half of it has disappeared. Mmm, we sure that she's really good. Swallow, then try again. Sorry, sorry. Please tell her that this is really good. She's the best chef I know. Natsuki bristles in her seat, causing Sayori to giggle. Ah, well. Even though, well, at least it's my, at least it's Mom C, but in the Lurcher Club, or well, outside the Lurcher Club, Mom C is the best chef, at least to her, but in the Lurcher Club, of course, we know that Natsuki is the best baker and the cook. Mer, chef. Second best, Natsuki, second best. Oh, <laughs> okay. Um, Sayori's uh, top two favorite uh, chefs. We got. Mom C, and then, and then, wait, first we got Natsuki, and then Mom C, there we go, okay, <laughs> I messed that up, I am so sorry. Better. <laughs> I get it, she's, uh, she's a little jelly, but come on now. Monica enters the room, an apologetic look on her face. Sorry, I'm late. We were just having lunch, Monica, it's not a club session or anything, you know. Where's Yuri? Oh, I saw her on my way here. She was uh, headed to the bathroom, so she'll probably be here soon. Anyway, guys, I, um, have something I want to tell you. You're pregnant? Natsuki, no. Just, no. We're still not in that phase yet. Sayori goes bright and I freeze. Monica quickly admonishes Natsuki, but I sworn I cared. <laughs> Maybe soon we'll get through that phase some at some point, fellow knights. <laughs> Don't get any funny ideas. <laughs> Jeez, Natsuki, what do you think I am? Ah, you can be so smug sometimes, and that's what I like about you, Natsuki. The Sundere, and of course, you're freaking smug. Oh my. <laughs> okay, let's move on. Actually, don't answer that. Carry on, Sayori. <laughs> uh, well, you guys already know the answer, so uh, I'll leave you guys to it. Actually, I should probably wait until Yuri is here. Good idea, because of course, everyone needs to know and no one has to be missing out. Something tells me this is important. <laughs> you could see that. <laughs> A few more minutes pass as we carry on eating. There's still no sign of Yuri. Uh, Kind of weird that Yuri is taking this long, don't you think? Yeah, it is. Should I go and see if she's okay? Not a bad idea. Sayori exits the room. Natsuki and Monika turn to me. So, this big reveal. Can we get a hint? 
Sorry, my lips are sealed. You're normally quite the joker, but this is... But this really must be something serious, huh? It's not really my place to say, that's all. Alright then, keep your secrets. Oh, by the way, how was your Valentine's, Finn? Did you take her to the beehive? Ah, uh, yeah. About that. It's a uh, long story, but no, I didn't. My mom came home that weekend though, and I got to spend time with her again. Did you take her to the restaurant instead? Yeah, totally. I proposed to her as well. I rolled my eyes. Oh yeah, I remember you said that a while ago you live alone these days, right? Well, back before I got with Sayori, <laughs> we had a good catch-up session, told her what uh, told her about what life's been like for the past half a year. Man, it's been almost six months already? Time flies. Anyway, to answer your question, I guess Valentine's was pretty good, yeah. Although not for the obvious reason. <laughs> Mama's boy. I throw my hands up dramatically. Sayori said the exact same thing. I'm not a mama's boy, right, Monica? Monica is spared from answering as Sayori comes back into the room, looking worried. Well, there's nothing wrong being a mama's boy because, like I said, if, uh, because we're in a we're in a pickle and we need some advice. So, of course, mothers knows best. Gotta ask your parents. So, yeah, if you need help, ask your parents. I couldn't find her in the girls' toilets. That's odd. Has she ever missed a lunchtime with us before? Don't think so. Internally, I'm beginning to worry. I hope that I didn't make Yuri feel unwelcome at the club or anything. Anyway, what do you want to say, Sayori? The suspense is killing me. And you can just tell Yuri when you see her. Okay, okay. Well, there's no real easy way to put this. She looks at me and I shoot her a reassuring smile. It may come as a surprise to you guys, but... She takes a deep breath. Okay, uh, some concentration there. I've been struggling with depression for years. Oh. Yep, those faces says it all. The effect is instantaneous. Instantaneous. From the look of shock on her faces, neither girl was expecting to hear that. Well, what? You? Mm-hmm. But he always looks so, I don't know, cheerful? It's just the way I learned to deal with it, I guess. I always want others to be happy, so I made that my priority. Sayori, I had no idea. Yeah, neither did I. Jeez, why was this was just so... Out of the blue? Both girls nod. They're clearly trying to. S <laughs> they're, tr they're clearly trying hard to process what they have just been told. Is this how I looked when Sayori told me all those months ago? And that's how I felt when I found out too. Never saw it coming, eh? I always tried really hard to hide it. I've always struggled to accept other people's help. Having them worried about me used to be something I hated. I'm still not entirely comfortable with it, but thanks to Finn's support and the therapy I've been to, it's helped me see that it's okay to talk to people about it. And you guys are my friends, so I figured it was only fair that you knew. Silence falls upon the room. It's a tad awkward. Jeez, I still don't know what to say. I'm glad that you're able to talk to us about it, but being honest with you, I don't really how... I really, I don't really how much about mental health. Sayori laughs softly. It's fine, Natsuki. I know none of us are professionals. The only thing is, the only thing I want is that, well, I don't want the atmosphere of the club to change or anything. I just want things to carry on as usual. No special treatment or anything. I don't think the club will change at all, Sayori. Don't worry. Yeah, that's exactly what I said. I guess that was just an irrational thought then. <laughs> well, I'm happy that you feel comfortable here with us, Sayori. Of course. That must have been real difficult for you to admit, so kudos to you. Yeah, thanks, Monica. And you too, Natsuki. Wow, I see how it is. 
<laughs> Laughter emanates throughout the room. Oh, you know I mean you too, Finn. She exhales slowly. I felt really good to let that out. Thanks for everything, guys. For understanding, for putting up with me, for... For putting up with Finn. Hey! The lunch bell rings, cutting short our banter. Well, that went pretty well. Well, if we don't account for Yuri. I'm sure we can tell her, so uh, as long as we encounter her, we'll just go ahead and tell her. Finally, the end of the school day arrives. I wander over to Sayori's classroom. As she walks out, out of... Wait... As she walks out of her classroom and greets me, I also spot Yuri. Her eyes are glued to the floor. What's this music? I nudge Sayori to point to Yuri. Oh, there she is. Oh, hello Yuri. Um, I know things are a little bit awkward right now, but don't you worry because... I'm pretty sure things are gonna be resolved between the two of you, especially with, you know, Sayori being all jelly and all that, and Yuri all... It, well, you guys know what I mean. Sayori, wait! But she's already walked up to her. I hasten after her. Hey, Yuri! Sayori... <laughs> Sorry. Yuri jumps up. Her hands immediately dart to her left arm. We couldn't find you at lunch. Is everything alright? Yes, uh, thanks for asking. I had some errands to attend to. S sorry for missing it. Nothing to apologize for, don't worry. Upon seeing me, the tension in the air multiplies by tenfold. Sayori looks inquisitively at us both. Uh, uh, well, I must be going now, so I'll... Yuri, we need to talk. And by we, I meant Sayori and I. There's something you need to know. Oh, so now you want to talk, do you? When it suits you? Yuri, please. I'm really sorry about Sunday, but this is why I want to talk to you. So we can clear everything up. Exactly! Now it's now or never. What are you guys talking about? Let's just discuss it somewhere a little quieter, okay? Yuri still looks rather upset, although she gives a curt nod and leads and allows me to lead the way. Thanks, Yuri. I appreciate it. She doesn't. She doesn't say anything. Sensing the gravity of the situation, I carry on. Look, there's no easy way of saying this. We mentioned it to Natsuki and Monika at lunch, and they didn't really know how to respond. I glance at Sayori, who gives me a nod. Sayori has the Sayori has depression, Yuri, and it's something she's been struggling with for a while. Uh Unlike the un unlike the other two girls, Yuri doesn't react strongly. Her face does soften slight slightly. I had a shrewd, shrewd suspicion that was the case, to be honest with you. What? Really? She exhales and closes her eyes for a few seconds. Yes. However, for obvious reasons, I didn't want to say anything. I didn't think anyone would be able to guess. Well, I suspected it after I put all of the little clues together. The fairy tale poem, the way you acted the day you presented it, your Halloween poem. My suspicion were rather aroused when Finn talked to me about the fight he had with you. I've seen people worry about their friends before, but he seemed especially concerned. When you started missing days off school, that's when the pieces all start to fall into place. She looks away. Can I ask you a question, Finn? One that I need an honest answer to? Of course you can. Go ahead, ask away. When you told me that I could come to you if I was lonely, did you actually mean it? I did, yes. And I... Wait, hang on, guys. Is it just me, or am I missing something here? Oh, sorry, yeah. I describe what happened over the weekend. Sayori's face goes from surprised to ashamed as I speak. So, it wasn't that I was trying to avoid you or anything, Yuri. I do enjoy spending time with you, like I said. 
and you're a good friend. It's just... I glance at Sayori. I know that no matter how gently I put this, Sayori is going to feel like she stopped me from hanging out with Yuri. I was really stupid, Yuri. It's not his fault. It's mine. She sighs. I was really jealous when I heard about you guys spending time with each other. And it was really wrong of me to feel that way. I was really selfish. The last time, the last thing I wanted to do was get in the way of the friendship between you two. I'm an awful friend. And I'm so sorry. A few tears streak down her face as she sniffles. I reach out to hug her, but Yuri beats me to it. It's a touching moment, especially with the gentle, concerned look on Yuri's face. After a couple of moments, they break apart. Sayori. Her tone is gentle, although I can hear an element of certainty in it. You're not an awful friend. You're one of the best friends that I've ever had. Please don't feel bad. I can only imagine how difficult depression is to deal with, and I don't blame you in the slightest for feeling the same the, the way you did. You have nothing to apologize for. If anything, it should be me. You? Of course not, Yuri. Of course not. Yuri, loneliness is a horrible thing to live with, so I can totally understand why you reached out to Finn. Perhaps. But I was rather inconsiderate in how I didn't think about the impact I would have on you, especially as I suspected you had depression. None of you are in the wrong here, guys. This whole fiasco happened over a miscommunication, that's all. I just wanted to clear everything up. Yuri, you've always been a good, a really good friend for the both of us. And I'm sorry that I felt like I was ignoring you. I just couldn't tell the truth because Sayori wasn't ready to tell you guys about her depression. It wasn't my call to make, although I can see why you saw it from a totally different perspective. So, everyone okay? Well, I don't know if this is the right word for it, but bygones be bygones, so... Yeah, I guess it kind of fits, uh, aside from the, um, the, uh, the whole miscommunication fiasco we've been having for the past few days. We all share a smile, lightening the mood considerably, and everyone got along together just fine. And of course, no more drama, so hooray! Good stuff, guys. Good stuff then, guys. Man, we're really, <laughs> we're really an apologetic bunch, aren't we? I think the word sorry is what I said about, what, seven times? Sayori and Yuri laugh softly. Anyway, I think it's time to go. Yeah, we'll walk you home, Yuri. Before Yuri can open her mouth to interject, I chime in. And also, I still want to know which book it was you wanted to read with me. No clowns this time, please. Are demons any... Are demons any better? No! Chicken. Come on, let's go. Aww. <laughs> Of course, I mean, she's a scaredy cat, but don't you worry, her shining knight in diamond armor is here. <sighs> Man, I'm really glad that we started the whole business, the whole Yuri business out. I was worried that I might have snowballed into something a lot worse, especially after she didn't show up at lunch. Did I really make you feel like you couldn't see your fin? It's more on me for not communicating with you about it, I guess. Don't worry about it. Seriously, it was pretty much a given that we had, we'd, we'd have obstacles to overcome as a couple, right? And I'd say that all things considered, that went pretty well. Yeah, I guess so. But please, just tell me if this is a problem. But please, just tell me if this problem comes up again, okay? I hate thinking that I put you in such a difficult place. Will do. By the way, I was thinking that we should do something as a club again. You know, like we did for Halloween and Christmas. It's been almost three months since we did something together. What are you thinking? Oh yeah, um, I guess with the theme of Valentine's, uh, I guess we could do something like that. Sure, I guess. I was thinking that a picnic would be nice. I wanted to do it earlier, so it's been really cold. 
and I don't really think it was I was in the best place for it. Now that we're almost into March, I've noticed it getting fairly warm. Yeah, run it by the girls tomorrow at lunch. I'm sure they'd say yes. Yay! Remind me if I forget, okay? I'll do my best. We hear footsteps coming in the hallway, and Mom trails in, laptop in hand. She smiles at us. Afternoon, you two. Good day at school. I grin at Sayori. Yeah, you could say that. We told the other girls about Sayori's depression, and they were really supportive and understanding about it. That's excellent news, sweetheart. It's always nice when your friends are there for you. Unfortunately, I've got some bad news. We've got a new client, and they're pushy to say the least. I have to leave tomorrow morning. My pleas, all d my pleas fell on deaf ears, sadly. Aw, really? You've been here for a few days. I know, sweetheart, I know. I wish I could stay for a little longer, but sadly it's out of my control. On the bright side, I'll make you guys a lot of food, so hopefully I won't have to hear about how you've been eating chocolate for lunch. I have chocolate for dinner, thank you very much. Mom rolls her eyes. Quite the sarcastic comedian, isn't he? Choose your side wisely, Sayori. What? I chuckle. It's always funny to put Sayori in an awkward situation, even when it's just a joke. Wah, wah, wah. There's probably going to be some nasty karma waiting for me one day, but all things considered. I'll take my chances and enjoy the teasing while I can. <laughs> oh man, I'm not gonna lie. This, besides being dense and all, I kind of find it. I find it funny, honestly. <laughs> the rest of the evening passed by relatively eventfully. After Sayori and I got on some homework, we helped Mom pack up for her flight. Well, it's an early flight tomorrow, so I'm going to head to bed er bed now. Sayori, it was lovely to see you again, and I hope to see you again soon, okay? She embraces her. You too! Hopefully it won't be so long this time. Hopefully. Even though it was only a few days, it was worth it. At least we told her or well, well, at least we shared all of our shared the uh, the previous or well how do I say this sorry for uh, for messing up my words here at least we um we talked about the uh, the adventures we had in the past few episodes and uh, it was really worth it at least and uh, I'm glad that mom is here to listen and uh, I really hope there will be new adventures to tell her in the future and uh, yeah and the uh, same goes to you fellow knights there will be new adventures for me to tell and share to you guys. So uh, if you want to stick around, well, subscribe for more. I, uh, I I would really appreciate that, really, and it means a lot to me. Mom turns to me. I'll wake you up before I leave. Don't worry. Alright, Mom. If you're turning in for the night, I'll walk Sayori home then. She nods. Sayori waves cheerily at her. As Sayori and I walk toward the front door, I whisper in her ear. As much as it sucks that she's leaving, having her around does mean that we can't spend the time together. But tomorrow she'll be gone. Ah, uh, Sayori, what's up with this face? Okay, um, <laughs> moving on. Unexpected, the unexpected purr in her voice makes me shiver. Anyway, let's get you home. Hmm. Well. I got nothing to say, honestly. <laughs> uh, Come on, Finn. Wake up. Uh, what do you want, Yuri? I've already been woken up by Mom. I have a surprise for you. Well, that certainly arouses my suspicion and makes me sit up, literally eyed. Does it? Does this surprise involve the house burning down and the fire brigade being called like the last one? I don't think so. No. Come on. Wait. What time is it? Still half asleep, I attempt to make out what my digi digital clock says. I don't think I ever seen you up this early. 
Well, I had a really good night's sleep last night. Plus, I set an alarm so that I could wake up before you. That's dedication. And well, I'm proud of you for that, Sayori. Having a good night's sleep? That's good. But not for me, though. <laughs> uh, pain and suffering. Anyway, come downstairs. Okay. Oh. I guess. She a cook now? Okay, okay. Jeez, I'm coming. As I make my way downstairs, half expecting that Sayori has managed to blow something up, I'm hit by an aroma of food. It doesn't look like or it doesn't look or smell like the food that mom left us either. I take a sniff. That smells really good. As the final vestiges of sleep leave me, I realized why Sayori is so excited. Hang on. Sayori, did you make me breakfast? Yep. There are so many things that I'm impressed with here. That you actually got up before me, the fact that you made food suitable for a human to consume, or the fact that you haven't eaten it. Hey, I really tried, okay? I move forward to embrace her, planting a kiss on her forehead. I'm just messing, Sayori. This looks and smells great. You didn't have to do this for me, though. I wanted to. You know, to show how much you mean to me, and also slowly becoming your housewife because I did a bit of thinking I realized that I don't really do that enough you don't have to worry about that at all but I appreciate the gesture it's really thoughtful and of course her being slowly transcending into a into well a waifu wife or housewife then <laughs> She's definitely taking the right step to the right direction as, you know, as soon future husband and wife. <laughs> Besides, it's our picnic today, so I was already in a foodie mood. Foodie? Foodish? Is that even a word? As I talk into the food in front of me, I am once again struck by how dang captivity cap cap wait captivate captivating Sayori can be she went all she went through all that effort to wake up before me and cook me breakfast for a start well like I said she's slowly transcending transcending into a housewife so uh, I'm slowly proud of her for that cuz we're lovers and now her scr her nose is all scrunched up trying to think of the right word dang I really am the luckiest guy alive and man, Sayori is really happy, or well, lucky to have a guy like me as his husbando. So, <laughs> and of course, I'm definitely lucky to have her as my waifu and well, housewife. Y y you know how it is, or at least in other words, waifu. The food is really good to boot as well. Wow, if the picnic food is as good as this, the other girls are in for a real treat. I didn't know you could cook like this. <laughs> well, I got some pointers from Natsuki. I didn't make anything fancy, to be honest. I'm an amateur. But she helped me with the work that with what I have. Aww, that's nice. Well, uh, you guys did a really great job. Looks like mom fears of me eating chocolate for dinner are unfounded, eh? Well... I didn't want to say it at the time, but having chocolate for a meal sounds pretty good if you ask me. Only for desserts. Yeah, I figured you'd say that. <laughs> I lean towards the last mini chocolate donut on the table, but as I do so, Sayori lightly smacks my hand away. Hey, what do you think you're doing? Trying to get the last donut? What does it look like? That donut is mine, Finn. I grin. Oh, the game is on. Is that so? I don't see your name on it. And with that, I dart for the snack, managing to loop it around my finger. Sayori jumps up and tries to pry it off me, but I'm too quick, as I quickly stand up and raise my fingers so that the donut is out of her reach. 
She jumps up and tries to reclaim it, but my plan is Sayori proof. The pout on her face quickly changes to a devious grin, which, to say the least, puts me on e What? <laughs> um, Sayori, what are you planning this time? Uh, this, uh, um... Honestly, I think Natsuki's grin on Sayori's face kind of looks fitting, but with this, uh, I, um, I, 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 I don't know what to say of this, honestly. As she pushes forward, her hands aimed for my sides, I quickly realize what her counterattack is. Hey, they said in the official donut convention of 1949 that tickling is not allowed. It's outlawed. <laughs> Sadly, my made-up convention and its rules go right over Sayori's head as her fingers mercilessly attack my sides, causing me to wreathe and laugh. I attempt to back away from her, but Sayori can be just as fast as when she wants to be. She pushes me against the wall as one of her hands carries on tickling me while the other is still reaching for the donut. In a desperate attempt, she reaches up on tiptoes and plants a kiss firmly on my lips, which totally takes me by surprise. Internally, I curse myself for falling for the rose. She, you, she'd done it before, so I should have seen it coming. Then again, it's pretty much impossible to resist a kiss from Sayori. Of course, because she's irresistible. Although, this kiss has a very different feel to it. There's a real sense of urgency I can feel coming from her. A feeling that's completely foreign. As she quickly gets off her tiptoes, I find myself con subconsciously lowering myself down to my normal height. At this point, the donut is all but forgotten. I wrap my arms around Sayori's back and pull her closer to me, savoring her taste and smell. She has me pinned on the against the wall with one of her hands on my wrist while the other caresses my face. And with my mother gone, we're home alone once more. As my thoughts wander into a territory I haven't explored much, Sayori slowly slides her tongue into my mouth. It catches me by surprise as this is the first time she's ever done it. I'm a little hesitant at first but I quickly grow accustomed to it. If I had any suspicion that this kiss is unlike we've shared in the past, this new development confirms it without a shadow of a doubt. Given how closely we press each other, I can feel her body heat along with something else. My mind is racing at a million thoughts an hour. As the kiss deepens, Sayori moans slightly, which only adds to the allure of the situation. Uh... Uh... Uh, this face... I'm pretty sure they're... They're advancing to... To a French kiss. So... We've done tier 1. Done tier 2, so I guess 3 and 4 somewhere in there might be a French kiss somewhere, I think, and then tier 5 is tickling. Or tier 6? I don't know. I am pretty... Maybe I'll assume it might be either tier 6 or 4 because, well, seems like we um, made some great progress, fellow knights. <laughs> oh, once again, thank you, Jake. This is completely uncharted territory, and while I don't want the moment to end the slightest, I have no idea what's going on. We eventually break apart, with neither of us knowing where the sudden mood that befell us came from. I always love looking at Sayori's eyes after we kiss, and despite this being no exception, there's something new lurking in those beautiful blue eyes. Okay, okay, <laughs> these faces, man, they, they get me, like, <laughs> I'm no ladies, man, but I can, but even I can read between the lines. My heart is beating just as I, <laughs> my heart is beating just as hard as my thoughts are worrying. Sayori? Her voice is quiet as she replies. Yes, Finn? Are you sure you want to... The doorbell ringing sounds like it's coming from another reality. For a moment, it was like I was totally oblivious to time and sp to space and time entirely. Release each other as I let out a frustrating groan. 
what is what is it with the dang doorbell ruining everything? Well, I got the solution for you. Anime logic. That's what it is. First, when we are about to kiss, and now when we are about to. Okay, let's not dwell too much on the end of that sentence. <laughs> <laughs> yup, fellow knights, let's not let's not dwell too much into that because we're still not on that phase yet. Well, aside from the uh, from the French kiss and everything, yeah, we're still not into that just yet. Wink, wink. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy! Oh, just you wait. Just you wait. Dang, Sayori. C couldn't you tell them to meet us like an hour later when you texted them? Sorry. Sayori opens it and waves at who I presume are the other girls. You chose a perfect day for a picnic. I checked the forecast today and it couldn't be any better. Sunny, blue skies, a slight breeze. Maybe the warmest start to March we had in a long time. Did Finn like the breakfast, Sayori? I didn't, I did indeed. Sayori outdid herself. Because of course, she's slowly becoming my housewife. She learned from the best. Shame you can't cook modesty though. What was that? No burnt houses this time? I laugh as Sayori pouts. I don't think Yuri realizes that she's unwittingly taking a jab at Sayori. <laughs> Oh, that bout! And too bad she's not doing her post though. Oh well. Thankfully not. I am ready to go. Um, Finn? Yeah? You still realize that you're in your pajamas, right? My face flushes red. What with the Sayori... The Sayori incident from earlier, it totally slipped my mind. Oh, uh, give me a second. Sheesh, how could you forget? What were you two doing anyway? Uh... Tier 3? Tier 4? Or... Tier... F yeah, so some somewhere between those, I think. An awkward silence suddenly springs up. I take that as my cue to head upstairs and get changed. One hasty change of clothes later, we're on our way. Everyone seems to be in fairly high spirits with the conversation flowing between all of us. Even though we typically spend most of our lunch times with one another, getting out of school and doing something as a four is always really enjoyable. After all, Christmas was almost three months ago. Time really flies. How has March come about so soon? Well then, um... Well, uh, speaking of the picnic, fellow knights, I'm sorry, I'm going to end the episode right here, but don't you guys worry, there will always be another episode. And, um, well, uh, seems that we finally cleared our uh, miscommunication and stuff with Sayori and Yuri, so that's good. And also, well, kind of sucks that uh, Mom C is uh, heading back to work, but, well, I guess everything else is uh, kind of okay now, since now I can spend the night together with Sayori. And, uh, and also... Seems that episode is actually pretty great, and uh, I like this one so far. Especially when she's making breakfast and all that. She's transcending into my housewife, so uh, that's great. And, uh, oh, the kiss. Oh, the kiss. <laughs> well, um, I guess we're, we, we just, or well, we were doing tier 3, 4, or 6. I don't know, between those... Oh boy, and those faces though. I also forgot to mention that No Not November has ended. Have you won yet? Have you? Let me know in the comments uh, below. <laughs> well, uh, that aside, uh, I hope you enjoyed what you're watching and like what you're seeing. Be sure to leave a like, comment down below, and of course subscribe if you haven't already. It'll help me a huge bunch in making more content like this. And click on the bell notification to be notified. And if you want to play this mod for yourself, as always, link in the description below. And with that being said, thank you guys all so much for watching. Been the Diamond Knight signing off, and I'll see you guys next time. And as always, stay awesome and have fun, fellow knights and adventurers.